So we had four years of a pro-growth, pro-American, pro-business, uh, uh, lower regulation, lower taxes, all the things that are necessary, pro-trade, pro pro-free trade, fair trade, and on and on it goes. So we had four years of that. And it only took those four years to give everybody a taste of how it should be and how nice it would be if we still had that today. So now we are suffering from an energy crisis that is 100% self-inflicted. I mean, we, this is 100% self-inflicted. Now they are trying to pull the, the uh, thorn out of their flesh that they so firmly planted in them themselves. Now they want to take it out a little bit. But soon as they start removing it, it's going to start bleeding. Soon as they start removing some of the things that they've put into place, the far left, the intelligentsia of Hollywood and the left of the AOCs of the world will start whining and complaining because we start producing oil and keeping oil here on our shores. Remember, the intelligentsia of Hollywood that I use is obviously the most sarcastic term for those in Hollywood that I can come up with. That's where the word intelligentsia <laughs> comes from because these are not Greek philosophers. They're, they're you know, it's, it's ridiculous. So all of these um, brilliant environmentalists believe, believe that they are saving the planted, planet. See, they believe that if the, if the carbon emissions go up in the air in China or Vietnam or Indonesia or uh, India, that it doesn't affect. It only affects India, China. It only affects their country. It doesn't they don't know that the globe rotates and the wind blows and the wind currents are coming from that direction to Hollywood. Isn't that lovely? So they, they, don't, they haven't figured that out yet. They think they're saving the planet by us getting rid of the oil here. See, saving the planet from that perspective would be us demanding to other nations that we do all their oil refinery or that they buy gasoline from us because we refine it so much cleaner than anywhere else or put pressure on them to develop cleaner refinery processes. No, they put all the pressure on the United States, which is lunacy. Why? Because they don't have the backbone enough to dare go to China or Vietnam or Indonesia or India or anywhere else in the world that is developing these heavy carbon emissions. So it really is crazy. I mean, it's, it's insanity when you think about how all this is working. So in the meantime, we are suffering. So now the administration goes to oil companies. I don't know how they can when you have shut down pipelines, eliminated pumping on federal land, and still contemplating cutting more pipelines, raising up not gas prices. The poorest of the poor in America will be dying literally from freezing to death as a result of not being able to afford gas. Oh, no, that won't happen. We won't take of them. We will take care of them. That won't help. Pro happen. Probably, probably for those capable to file for the assistance and all that. But it's still not right because it's 100% avoidable. It's avoidable. So we, local municipalities, local counties, local cities, states and the federal government continue to mount up debt now because of this self-inflicted wound that needs lots of band-aids that we now have to buy. Had we not created the wound, we wouldn't be needing to get in more and more debt. But they don't mind getting in that debt because that debt gives them more control, more power 
more social control. And they don't have a problem with that because it's easy to get that money passed. I don't know about you, but I'm not going to protest the government helping the poorest of our poor here in America. Nobody's going to protest that. That would be horrifying. All I'm saying is the government could avoid all of that spending, but they can't think of the unintended consequences from their actions. And now we all suffer because our tax dollars are going to things unnecessarily because of this self-inflicted wound. It is, and, and now the government, the administration, is going to try to fix it. It would be like the administration trying to fix the results of giving um, Afghanistan back to the terrorists that we took it from and then say, oh, we've got to do something about that. That's what it's like. It's exactly what it's like. It's not, it's not any different than that. And, and that's what, we're, and we, we may do that one day. I suspect we will. It is shameful. This is going to be an unnecessary struggle this Christmas for hundreds of thousands of families, hundreds of thousands of individuals. We have homeless population growing exponentially. We have um, uh, tent cities growing and growing and growing. We have unsanitary conditions. We have cold weather coming. It's going to make things even worse. All of it self-inflicted. We have opioid crisis now reaching high heights in every single state in America because we have let the cartel send all their mules over here that are going to deliver the drugs to them uh, to, to uh, unexpected unsuspecting people uh, that were smoking a little pot now are going to be on opioids and overdoses going up, so on and so forth. And we are doing nothing about it. We are giving up our law and order. So we bring in drugs and homelessness, and then we wonder why we have a problem with lawlessness and why do we need our great men and women in our police forces all around the country more than ever? Not less than ever, more than ever. And most of it has all been self-inflicted upon us. And this self-infliction, the constant rubbing salt in the wound, if it were, it is, is getting worse. Nothing is slowing it down. So we are going from crisis to economic crisis that is causing deeper crises around the country. And it's all because of the administration. Hey, remember to click the subscribe button right here on the screen. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when new content is added. And more importantly than anything, you don't want to miss all three live hours of financial issues every day from 9 to noon. And you can watch it on FISM.TV. That's FISM.TV.